Well, even if you have never taken out a reverse mortgage, you have spent money on it. In 2013, 1.7 billion tax dollars were used to replenish an insurance fund that had been depleted in part by reverse mortgage defaults. As part of our ongoing debt series, Jason Wheeler looks at this type of loan, which has been taken out by more than 900,000 Americans. Get rid of all that. Jocelyn Cassett lost her mom in 2014. Now she's about to lose the house she thought she had inherited from her mom. I don't have any place to go. Unbeknownst to Cassett, her mother had reverse mortgaged the family home in 2006. It's just like if somebody just walked up to you and just threw a brick at your head or something. This story is a jarring juxtaposition to the rosy reverse mortgage TV ads featuring celebrity pitchmen. And let one reverse mortgage help you live a better retirement. Informing older homeowners that they can get money based on the equity in their homes. One of the biggest selling points with reverse mortgages is that the borrower doesn't actually repay the loan. The lender doesn't get its money back until the home is sold or when the borrower dies, the lender gets to keep the home. In recent years, Texas has been second only to California in the number of reverse mortgages. It was a no brainer. It took me, it probably took me half an hour to make the decision. 69 year old David Alley likes not having to repay a loan and he has no problem with the bank keeping his Dallas home after he dies. My relatives, are very well set. Allie's deal was handled by Michael Jones of Georgetown Mortgage. I would recommend this to my parents, my grandmother. Jones thinks more retirees should consider reverse mortgages as a primary income source to be tapped into before other savings and investments. Allow those stocks, allow those bonds and securities to continue to grow. That's the exact reverse of Sandy Jolly's take on reverse mortgages. This very dangerous way to use your largest single asset. She says the loans can amount to elder financial terrorism. When my parents were sold a reverse mortgage they didn't need when they were sick and dying. Jolly warns of the numerous default triggers in reverse mortgages that can cause foreclosure, like when a borrower fails to pay property taxes or insurance, or leaves the residence for an extended period of long-term care. She says this should be a careful family decision. I had no idea. Idea. Jocelyn Cassett didn't get that say. After her mother's death, she got the standard options, pay off the reverse mortgage or pay 95% of the home's value. She couldn't afford either, so the home was auctioned. Well, it's too late to try to do anything for me, but if anybody's even thinking about doing this, don't. Just don't. Cassett is now selling possessions to clear out of the house by her eviction date, March 2nd. She imagines her mother, who signed that reverse mortgage, is looking down with great regret. She's very upset. Jason Wheeler, Channel 8 News.